Gundam.tk presents Master Grade Blitz Gundam. Hey again, it's Robert 184, 2 hours 2 bs Gundam Reviews .net. And as you may be able to make out here from the empty plates, the Master Grade Blitz Gundam from Gundam Seed is all put together. So let's take a look at some of the parts which are pretty complex, as is befitting a Master Grade from 2012 after a 10 year wait, before putting it all together and turning into that pretty cool looking mobile suit. Here's all the body parts and you can see the leg there in its component parts and the backpack up there and the head is worth showing off separate so you'll see that at the end. And there's not a lot of weapons to build but there's a lot of weapons built in if you know what I mean here with these two. Only one beam saber is going to be used there and you can see a custom action base connector, a couple Nicoles, one lounging around, four fingers that you can swap off there and for the piercer lock you can actually have those two grey cylinders that'll help connect the yellow wire. I think the details in the leg perfectly exemplify just how cool this is as a master grade, at least in terms of putting it together. Of course, the proof is going to be in the pudding once it's all actually put together. But up here, you're going to have a hip there, and you'll notice that its front and back is a little bit different, and it's going to spin around there. But little details like this gray part here that's exposed, you're also going to see some purple here that's actually going to constitute most of the inner frame here down below. And then when you bend that, you can see that bend there, and you can bend this part there, and you may notice that gray part there moving with the kneecap. So you're going to have a cool looking view of the knee even though there is a lot of grey exposed there. This red part here is just a nice little detail although it doesn't seem like it's in there all that securely. You may just want to be a little bit careful with that. But once you get down below you can see all sorts of grey details down there. The red parts there on the back look good. This front part doesn't seem to be attached on all that securely but it is going to move just enough. There's some fake pistons underneath there and you can move this around. You're able to move the foot fairly well and you can see the grey inner frame and that purple, nothing's going to get in the way, including those grey parts that are sitting off on the side and you've got this cool little wingling thing here on the back of the heel. And just for a close up look here, you can get an idea that you've got these grey parts that you plug in and then grey parts that you put on top. The red is going to fit into that black which is pretty good, it's almost glossy there. You can plug this part in here so you're going to have a double ball joint to keep the whole foot on. That fake piston is going to work really well and again you saw how well the foot moves and just to have so many colors there with the black, the red and the purple is a very nice combination no matter how you look at it. Tons of details in the waist which almost makes those grey parts a little bit redundant starting with the fact that all of these insides are going to be filled in with tons of details if you wanted to go paint those up. I'm sure you can make it look spectacular. The black is going to look good, it's got grey underneath exposed on almost all of the parts there which is going to look good. These little red parts are going to leave some cut marks there that you got to be careful, just put them on the back when you're putting them together. Don't have them facing forward, but overall the combination again is working. And you're going to have the movable hips there, so you can see that this is going to go up and down. But a little bit though with this frame here for the seed kits, these just feel a little bit loose, so hopefully it's not going to have too many problems once you're actually putting it together. Now the chest is very cool in terms of the details, but you're going to have to be a little bit careful putting it together. I had some trouble getting these uh, lower parts put on and everything didn't want to fit in quite well. You're going to have to squeeze every once in a while just to get things to work a little bit. So why don't you let me know with a comment down below if anybody else had that issue or if it was just mine. But anyway, you can see tons of details here from the fact that you've got these red vents above and below and you've got this one here. If you take a look though at the pro painted one, these vents should have some black parts underneath and I just went with brown lining marker here on red instead of black, which is probably just a little bit too understated. This is a yellow seal here, but in terms of mobility, you'll notice that this is going to move around. Not really going to pivot there too much, but you're going to have the arms that are going to pull out almost 90 degrees forward like that with that gray or black cap on top, which is looking good. You're going to attach this part, this part, and this part on. So you've got three parts there that make up the backpack. And this was a pain in the butt here for me. You've got this red part here that you're going to fit around with a black part that goes on the inside. But when you're trying to put these two halves of the chest together, they were falling off all over the place and I got around that by just putting some scotch tape on the inside there. Not the best solution but Bandai, something else you could do when you're cutting these off the sprues is just leave a little bit of excess there. But that was showing so I had to shave it off. Tape seemed to be the solution but putting these parts together and these parts together were a little bit frustrating. But in the end the looks are very cool and blitzish. And you may be able to vaguely make out the pilot there but no room for lounging age one style here. Now shoulders don't normally warrant their own segment, but with this one they certainly do as they're bragging all over the box about how cool this Mirage Colloid is. So what you get to see here is you're going to see a lot of grey inner frame there, all of it's looking pretty good, although there's that big seam line that you'll never see once you actually put the arm in there. These little red parts, these are the kinds of details that you can just imagine would never be on a master grade until around this year. They're very small triangular and you plug them in and they're going to stay in there quite well and because they're well recessed. But in terms of the big star over here, you've got this part and you can pop this out and when you do that it exposes the grey. Pop that up and you can see the magics here that's going to work for this invisible man before it ends up being on the Amatsu. 
The arms are a little dull in comparison, but you're just going to have this shoulder rotate around there. You're going to get your ni almost 90 there, and so pretty good, I'd say over 135. You can see that the thumb, you got to be a little bit careful of that here, but really no black, nothing, uh, nothing but black down there below on the forearms, except you're going to have your weapon mounts there. That's going to work on either side, and if love them or hate them, you're going to have these four fingers here with a fair number of variations that you can swap on and off. And back to the back with the backpack here, yes, you can see some silly parts there, some great details again with the black there on the inside of the red parts there, that's just going to give you all these multicolor thrusters. This is just going to plug in there, and you've got these two parts, they're a little bit different, you're going to have to be careful with the right one there that you put this on the left or the right side, and again the details of the black, red, black, inside the purple, when you put these all in, you can just see how many cool looking thrusters you're going to get, very, very master grade worthy. But even just in the process of putting this on here, you can see that you're going to have these parts and they can fall off a little bit easily. A little bit of glue is always going to fix that up, but something else worth mentioning is that they even go to the trouble of putting those grey parts there on the bottom. And in terms of mobility, this one's going to move up and down and it's going to move a little bit there off to the side, but don't expect anything too dynamic and this one should stay locked into place or so it would seem. And finally, with everything reattached the way it should be reattached, this is looking like the bottom of the space shuttle, I think. Let's get to the big gun, literally, here with this shield, and certainly the star. Well, one of them anyway for the Blitz, but probably this one has to be my favorite. Anyway, you're going to have this great-looking black part there with this white part here that's going to have lots of lining. The pros do that even better there. You can put on some white seals underneath to even just uh, set this apart even more with the red. And they do have that little detail of the yellow tip there, there at the end. And when you flip it over, you're going to have all sorts of stuff there on the inside. The yellow part isn't going to look as good there put a little bit of brown lining in and you can basically you'll take this off when you actually want to put it in hand you'll notice that that's a clear red part and you can uh, also do that in seals I suppose if you want to but when you put the actual beam rifle together you've got purple purple and red there at the end all of which is looking pretty good that's a pretty cool looking barrel single beam saber there that you could actually put the beam into if you wanted and you've also got this gray part here that is going to help attach this on to the arms and in terms of the darts you can pop these out they stay in there pretty well but not all that well but anyway if you do want to pop it out you can take one of them out and use this as a beam saber if you wanted to lining opportunities all over the place there and the fact that they actually did this in two tones of color at least with the white and purple is a real winner but it's just great to see all of these weapons stacked into such a small area and if grappling hooks are your thing, you can take this one and just plug this into either forearm there, and then you can use those grey cylinders to attach this wire on it and send this out, but you can guess that this is probably going to be a little bit too heavy. That remains to be seen in the next part of this review anyway. But in terms of details, no complaints with the amount of plastic, no seals here, everything's still looking great. Grey thrusters, purple thrusters, red little wing tips there, some black details all over the place, and for the yellow claws, these are going to be made up of nine parts. You can see that that's going to bend up there and you're going to get this much uh, range of motion and it's going to look cool when you do that because you've also got a little circle down there that's going to look like it's got a blaster of some sort and that is going to allow for some pretty dynamic, if not gravity problematic poses. But on to the most important and coolest part of this Gundam here, well if you don't want to count the weapons, is just the head and the way you put this together just seems to be pretty genius on Bandai's part. First of all you've got that big red part there that's going to provide the goatee and the under eye shadow there purple mask there, put in a poly cap there, and then the cool part is is that you're going to take this part here and actually you'll put the head together first and you can have full light piping here which is something that Transformers and other toys have been doing for quite a while. Gundam hasn't fully embraced it and then again it's probably going to be sitting on a shelf and not very backlit but if you do want to you've got this red part here that you're going to slide all the way down. You can see that that's going to be a nice fit. You can also put seals on here if you want to do that. And they're going to give you this plus of this nice little red part here that has to be lined up the right way. And you plug that in there. And once you do that, you can take this part, plug this in on the top here. So you're going to have some red there. Take this black part here so you can just see how many details there are here. And yeah, outside of the red part popping off. Here it is with a few lining opportunities there, which I did with black, but it's not really going to stand out. And then you've got this V-fin that's going to plug in there securely on either side. I haven't added any lining to this. I might do some of that later, as you see the red part pop off again. And fumbling aside, you're going to have one of the more unique looking heads in all of Gundam there. Very Death Scythe-y or so it seems to me. Yes, the parts may fly off on occasion, but if you put it together carefully, you're not going to have an issue. And if you're not trying to do it on camera... However, the camera lens, though, is going to look just a little bit too dark red there. It may be better putting the seal on. You can see over here with this gun that you, because it's on purple, it's just going to stand out a lot more than it would here on the black. So that's going to cover up and eliminate the whole idea of the light piping, but you're probably not going to use it all that much anyway. 
but still kudos to Bandai for giving you the option and trying something new. And overall, just the colors and the fact that that red part is in seals, that is fantastic. Overall, this kit was a lot of fun to get put together, except for the problems that I already mentioned there with the chest being a little bit frustrating, but that's more than made up for with some of the cool details that go into the way the legs are going to be constructed. The weapons are just a ton of fun to put together, and even the shoulders are interesting, and that head, as you just saw. Little pluses, like the fact you get an extra beam saber, well, that's always nice, and red seals if you want to go ahead and use them. That little yellow seal is already sort of displacing itself on the chest, but hopefully that's just going to get fixed and something that you, a pro painter, could easily fix up as well. Anyway, everybody, thanks very much for watching, and stick around, because it's time to see this all put together in next two things like the duel, so stick around for that, and as always, let me know what you think with a comment down below, and thanks for watching. See ya!